taking a look outside. Dry right now. Hey. Craig Carrera yeah. joins us. So I guess you're tracking the last little remnants of this. Yeah. Thing. This is it. It's moving out of here quickly. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> exactly. And uh, maybe a couple of renegade showers here and there, but that's <laughs> about it. I'll call them renegade showers. They're just kind of lingering. But take a look at the higher elevation. Stevens Pass, 11 inches of snow in the Whoa. past 24 Whoa. hours. Uh, Mount Baker, 13. So, oh yeah, ski areas rejoice. We've got uh, beautiful conditions for you tomorrow. When I said renegade showers, notice you got a couple little returns on the radar here. Uh, very, very light and a little bit of rain up into the uh, along the passes. Temperatures are sitting mostly in the 40s and into the 50s. We'll sit with mostly 40s tonight. Visibility has dropped to about a mile and a half for Olympia and Chehalis. So we'll watch for some low clouds early tomorrow morning. Here's the low cloud UW high resolution model looking specifically at uh, the low cloud cover 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Pretty widespread, so you may hit some pockets of low visibility. Look what happens as we get to 12 o'clock starting to see some sun breaks. However, the clouds will be quick to fill back in starting about five o'clock in the afternoon. They fill back in and we'll see those again tomorrow evening. That's kind of the pattern we're going to go through. Take a look at this though. Big high pressure starting to set up the storms. Yeah, they're all lined up one, two. They're just going to go up and over this area of high pressure. They're going to be redirected up to the north and away from us. We'll be brisk at times, so this will be the pattern Thursday, Friday and Saturday. A few afternoon sun breaks once we break through the clouds. That system moves up to the north a little bit, gives us a slight chance for a couple of showers from Everett up to the north Sunday afternoon. Not real likely, but we're going to throw that in there. We'll stay with those nice brisk conditions to the south. Then the storm track stays to the north Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Boy, we're shutting off the snow. Look where we stand uh, for the uh, snowpack. We're at 91% to the north, 64% of normal, and 74% in most spots. So, yeah, we'd like to see a little bit more, but it's just being shut off for a couple of days. Uh, tomorrow's highs into the upper 40s and low 50s. After that, we'll continue with this pattern, which is slightly above normal for this time of year. In fact, uh, we're going to see lots of you know, sunny conditions during the afternoon. Not real bright sunshine, but some sunshine. Here's a look at the seven day forecast 51 for a high tomorrow. We'll stay about 52 on Friday and then it looks like uh, really no real chance for rain for at least the next seven days. So enjoy this nice little pattern while we have it. We'll send it back to you.